numericals on graphical representation of motion in one dimension. Now let us take a question. Let us take a question. Let us take a question. The figure shows the displacement of a body at different times. at different times. Now the graph is like this. on the y-axis on the y-axis we are drawing displacement in meters And in the x-axis, we have time in seconds. The graph goes like this. 0 to 5 seconds. The displacement comes out to be 3. Three to seven seconds. The displacement remains three. Seven to nine seconds. So this is three, this is six, this is seven. Seven to nine seconds. The displacement goes to seven. This goes to 7. The question is, part 1, calculate the velocity of the body Calculate the velocity of the body
in 0 to 5 seconds Five seconds to seven seconds and seven seconds to nine seconds. Second part calculate the average velocity of the body. Calculate the average velocity of the body during the time interval. Five seconds to nine seconds. Now, velocity is given by slope of displacement time graph. Slope of displacement time graph. First, 0 to 5 seconds. Now, 0 to 5 seconds, this angle is theta. Slope is perpendicular, which is 3. By base, base is 5. This is perpendicular. This is base. You have to find from 0 to 5 seconds. So, 0 to 5 second velocity is perpendicular by base 3 by 5. So, it is 3 by 5 is 0 0.6 meter per second. Now, let us go to 5 seconds to 7 seconds. Now, 5 to 7 seconds is this part of the graph. This part of the graph, displacement is not changing with time. Slope is 0. And slope gives velocity. So, velocity is 0. The body is not changing. It is at 3. So, 5 to 7 seconds, my velocity is 0 as the slope is 0. Now, we come to 7 to 7 seconds to 9 seconds. 7 seconds to 9 seconds is this part of the graph is this part of the graph. What is the slope? If this angle is theta dash, what is this perpendicular? This is 7, this is 3. So, this part is 7 minus 3, 4. Perpendicular is 4. And this is 9 minus 7, that is 2. So, perpendicular is 4 and base is 2 for this part of the graph, 7 second to 9 second. 
So this part of the graph, velocity is perpendicular is 4, base is 2. So for this part of the graph, the velocity comes out to be 2 meter per second. The next part, calculate the average velocity during 5 to 9. Now what is average velocity? Average velocity we have studied is total displacement. divided by total time. Total displacement by total time. Now they have asked you to find the total average velocity between 5 to 9. That means 5 seconds to 9 seconds. So, you have to find from 5 seconds to 9 seconds. Now, 5 seconds, where are you? 5 seconds, you are in 3. And 9 seconds, where are you? You are in 7. So, 5 to 9 seconds, your displacement is 7 minus 3, 4 meters. So, total displacement from 5 to 9 seconds is 4 meter. Why? In 5 seconds, you are in 3 and in 9 seconds, you are in 7. So, 5 to 9 seconds, 5 to 9 seconds, you have moved from 3 to 7. So, total displacement is 4 meter and total time 5 second to 9 second is 9 minus 5, 4 seconds. So, total time is 4 seconds. So, my average velocity from 5 to 9 is 1 meter per second. It is total displacement by total time. In 5 seconds, I was at 3. In 5 seconds, I was at 3. And in 9 seconds, I was in 7. So, my total displacement in this time interval was 4. Now, let us move on to the next sum. Let us take another sum. Say, the velocity time graph, the previous one was displacement time graph. Here, the velocity time graph of a moving body is given below. Now say I take a graph like this.
Say I take a graph like this. From 0 to 2 seconds, this side we are drawing velocity. It is a velocity time graph, velocity in meter per second. This side you have time in seconds. I have here say 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. And this side we have 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on. The graph goes like this. Zero to four second, it goes to thirty. Four to eight seconds, it remains in thirty. This is eight children. Eight to ten. This comes back to ten. The graph is something like this. You are asked part A find this is labeled as A B C and D. They have asked find the acceleration in three parts. Find the acceleration in AB. Find the acceleration in BC. Find the acceleration in CD. Part B, they have asked, find the displacement Find the displacement in each part in AB, in BC, in CD. And the third question is, find the total displacement. Now, acceleration is given by slope of velocity time graph in the part AB what is the slope slope is perpendicular which is 30 what is base base is 4 
So here acceleration is 30 by 4. 30 by 4 means 15 by 2, which is 7.5 meter per second square. Now acceleration in part BC, here velocity does not change. That means this part slope is 0. Slope gives acceleration. So acceleration is 0. So in the part BC, your acceleration is 0. Now we come to part CD. The part CD, the slope, this is 30 perpendicular and base is, this is 2, 10 minus 8, 2. So in the part CD, your acceleration is 30 by 2 perpendicular by base 30 by 2 so it comes out to be 15 meter per second square it comes out to be 15 meter per second square and here children since it is acceleration and the velocity is decreasing you have to give a minus sign. The negative sign tells us. The negative sign tells us. That. V decreases. So negative sign tells us. V decreases. So, if you don't give the negative sign, you will lose a mark. Now, the question is, what is the displacement in AB, BC and CD? Displacement of velocity time graph is given by area under the graph. It is given by area under the graph. Now see in part AB, what is the area? This is the area under the graph, the shaded part. It is area of the triangle. So if I name this A, B, C, D, E, F. In part AB, the displacement S is area of triangle. A, B, F. That is half base 4, half into base, into height. Height is 30. So this becomes 215. So 15 into 4, 60 meters. Now we come to part BC. Part BC is this area. Under BC it is the area of this rectangle. It is the area of this rectangle under BC. Now how much is this? This is 8 minus 4, 4. And this is 30. This is 30. So the area of the rectangle in part BC it is area of rectangle B C E F B C E F that is length into breadth 4 into 30. 
4 into 30. So this becomes 120 meters. Now we come to part CD. Part CD. Part CD is area of this triangle under CD. So CD you have to do area of triangle CED, the black triangle which is half base. Now this base is 2. This base is 2 and height is 30. Half into base into height. 2 cancels. So area becomes 30 meters. And area gives the displacement. So you were asked to find the displacement in each part AB which is 60 meter. BC which is 120 meter and CD which is 30 meter. Next you are asked the total displacement. Since the full graph is above the time axis it is positive. So simply add 60 meter plus 120 meter plus 30 meter. 60 plus 120 is 180 and 180 plus 30 is 210 meters. So my total displacement is 60 plus 120 plus 30 that is 210 meters. Now let us go on to the next sum. The figure shows the velocity time graph of a particle moving in a straight line. Now the graph is like this. Say the velocity time graph you have along the y axis, you have velocity in meter per second. Along the x-axis, say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7. And here you have 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Now 0 to 4 seconds. In the fourth second, it comes to 2. The graph is like this. 0 to 4 seconds. This comes to 2. This is 2. And then from 4 to 6 seconds it comes to rest. It's a straight line. Actually it's a straight line. Four to six seconds, it comes to rest. The question is, find the displacement of the particle find the displacement of the particle in 6 seconds. Number 2. Does the particle change the direction of motion? Number three, compare the distances traveled by the body, compare the distances traveled by the body. in 0 to 4 seconds and 4 seconds to 6 seconds. Next part 4. Find the acceleration and retardation. Acceleration in 0 to 4 seconds. and retardation from 4 seconds to 6 seconds. So we come to the sum what we are asked. Find the displacement in 6 seconds. Now in 6 seconds it is this full area. In 6 seconds, it is this full area. So, if I name this as A, B, C and this point as D, this is area of triangle 
a b c which is half into base into height what is my base my base is 6 this is my base 6 so half into 6 now what is my height this is my height of the triangle height is 2 so half into 6 into 2 2 cancels so the area becomes 6 meters and area gives the displacement next question does the particle change direction now I told you in velocity time graph if the graph would have been like this positive velocity means moving in the forward direction and negative velocity means moving in the backward direction here there is no negative velocity the full graph is above the time axis in the negative part there is no graph so does the particle change the direction no since there is no part of the graph showing that velocity is negative since there is no part of the graph showing that velocity is negative the particle does not change the direction part 3 compare the distances in 0 to 4 second and 4 second to 6 seconds now 0 to 4 seconds children is the area of this triangle 0 to 4 seconds is the area of this triangle area of the triangle A B D so 0 to 4 seconds is if I write this as S1 it is half base is 4 and height is 2 base is 4 height is 2 so 0 to 4 seconds the distance is 4 meter this is half base into height now 4 seconds to 6 seconds 4 seconds to 6 seconds is the area of this triangle 4 second to 6 second is the area of this triangle. This is again half base into height. Here base is how much? Uh, 7 minus, sorry 6 minus 4, 2. So 4 second to 6 seconds, the distance covered is half, base is 2, height is 2. So it is 2 meters. Now you are asked to compare. That means you are asked to compare means ratio. So S1 by S2 we have to find out. Which is 4 by 2. It is 2 is 2 1. You have to compare means you have to compare the distances means you have to get the ratio. Next we come to acceleration in 0 to 4 seconds. Acceleration is slope. Slope is perpendicular by base. So if I take up first let me rub this. Children, acceleration in 0 to 4 seconds 
this is 2 and this is 4. So acceleration is slope which is 2 by 4 half 0 0.5 meter per second square and retardation 4 to 6 it is again slope perpendicular by base 6 minus 4 is 2 so it is 2 by 2 1 meter per second squared. Now here the velocity is decreasing. Here the velocity is decreasing. Why we are not writing minus? Because in the question itself it is given find the retardation. The question is given find the retardation. No one asked you to find the acceleration. You are asked to find the retardation. Let us move on to the next sum. Say, I give you a sum like this. The figure given below shows a velocity time graph. It is a velocity time graph. For a car starting from rest, it is the graph for a car starting from rest. Say the graph is like this. See, you have a graph like this. It is a velocity time graph. In the y-axis, you have velocity in meter per second. And in the x-axis, you have time in seconds. The graph is like this. See? See the graph? Uh, Starts from here. Then it goes straight. Graph starts from here. Then it goes straight.
and then it comes down. See so the graph is like this. From 0 to t seconds, so this is t, this is 2t, this is 2.5t, this velocity is v0. Let me name this as, this point is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, E, F. Now the question is, first question, compare The distance traveled in AB, comma BC, comma CD. The next part, another question is asked, is acceleration greater than retardation? explain. Now the first part is we have to calculate the distance in AB, BC, CD. Now under AB it is this area so this distance S1 is half into base base is t and height is v0. So s1 is half into base into height. Second part bc. bc is this area. This area of a rectangle, this part is 2t minus t, this is 2t, this is t, so this will be t and this is v0. So it is the area of the rectangle in BC. Distance travelled is length into breadth, so t into v0. Next part is the distance traveled in part CD. It is the area of this triangle. S3 half into base into height. This base is 2.5t minus twice t. That is 0.5t. And height is V0. So it is half. Base is 0 0.5 T. Height is V0. Now 5 can be, okay, I'll keep it as 0 0.5 T into V0. Now when you have to compare, you have to find the ratio of S1 is to S2 is to S3. 
what is s1 v not t by 2 this is v not t by 2 is 2 what is s2 v not t what is s3 this i can write it as half into 5 by 10 v not t that is 5 by 20 v not t 1 by 4 v not t so this can be written as 1 by 4 v not t now when you compare the ratio is half is to 1 is to 1 by 4 and the simplest ratio is if you multiply with 4 2 is to 4 is to 1 if you multiply the numerator with 4 2 is to 4 is to 1 now the next part is acceleration greater or retardation greater Which one? Now, acceleration is a slope. This part it is acceleration. This part velocity is zero. And this part there is retardation. Acceleration is the slope. Now what is the slope? Perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is V naught. Base is T. So it is V naught by T. So acceleration is V naught divided by T. Now what is retardation? Retardation is again slope. Perpendicular by base. So it is V naught divided by it is 0 0.5 T. That is V naught by 5 by 10 T. This becomes 10 by 5 V naught by T. This becomes twice V naught T. V naught by T. 5 twos are 10. So retardation is twice V naught by T. So this is twice V naught by T. And this is only V naught by T. So what can we conclude? That retardation is double of acceleration. So retardation is greater than acceleration. So while doing graphs, certain things you have to remember, that is, slope of displacement time graph gives velocity, slope of velocity time graph gives acceleration, and area under velocity time graph gives the distance or displacement.